The topic of gender discrimination, especially in the workplace, is one that has been of great concern to a lot of people for many years now. In a world where many societies have made it difficult for women to enjoy the same work opportunities as their male counterparts, instead they are expected to stay home and tend to the family. Even the ones who manage to get jobs, they do not get as much opportunities as the men do. That is why we're grateful for women like Sisa Gaba Abaldo, an Egyptian woman who was brave enough to defy societal norms and create her own reality. Now, if this is your first time of hearing about Sisa Gaba Abaldo, you are about to be amazed at the courage and bravery of this Egyptian woman. As a mother, Sisa sacrificed her femininity for the opportunity to provide for her daughter, Huda. Being a young wife during the 1970s, six months pregnant Sisa had just lost her husband, a man she had married at the age of 16 being 21 at the time, as well as a pregnant widow. Caesar's less privileged conservative Egyptian family did not allow her the opportunities she needed to give her child a better life, especially in a patriarchal society like Luxor, where women were not allowed to be breadwinners. She had to endure constant pressure from her brothers to get remarried. In an interview, she told her daughter that if her daughter were to be a boy, she probably would have agreed to get married again after the death of her husband because you know she felt that having a daughter the daughter will not really have as much you know opportunities and attention from society so if she had remarried she might as well have abandoned her daughter because she felt that nobody could care for her daughter as much as she could she knew that in order for her to give her child the life that she wished for her, she would have to get a job. And getting a job as a woman in Luxor would require some sort of outside the box type of thinking. Now this was the moment Sisa came up with the idea to disguise herself as one of the men. That way she wouldn't have to worry about being ridiculed and rejected on the basis of being a woman when she goes in search of a job. She began wearing only male attires as well as talking and acting like a man. Then she would go in search of jobs in neighboring towns where no one could recognize her. Thankfully, she was able to blend in with the men at the local mosque and the coffee shops. Soon she began working as a farmer, a laborer and a shoe shiner. For 43 years, Sisa had gotten away with her disguise. Even after her daughter got married at the age of 16, Sisa still didn't give up the act, she continued her disguise. According to her, at that point, she had already become accustomed to you know, dressing and acting like a man. And she also was you know, getting used to the opportunities that came with being a man in such a patriarchal society. Besides, she no longer felt comfortable in women attire. In 2015, Sisa received the recognition that she deserved as she was honored by the Egyptian government and received the Woman Breadwinner Award by the Social Solidarity Ministry. Additionally, a documentary was made about her courageous story, which was titled The Untamed Shrew, and it was released by RT. So do you know about the courageous Sisa Gaba about Dor? Have you ever heard of her? And what do you think about the whole disguise? Did you think it was worth it? Did you think that you know she was left with any other choice? <laughs> right? So yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see similar videos as this, I have a whole lot of them in the channel. You could click on it and educate yourself. Yeah, have a lovely day.